Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Raven, and today we're going to be talking about John Bonet Ramsey. For those of you who do not know who she is, she was age six when she was tragically murdered in her family's basement. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the story of this is she went missing on December 26, 1996. Now, her mother says that she found a two and a half page handwritten ransom note on the kitchen staircase at their family's residence. The, the note demanded $118,000, which is very uh, interesting because Mr. Ramsey, a.k.a. John, pointed out to police on the scene that the amount was nearly identical to his Christmas bonus of the prior year. So how would they know that information? That that really does not make any sense to me. And according to the FBI, the ransom note was unusually long. Normally ransom notes are basically like a little page that says, I want this much money, I, I want it on this day, at this time, or consequences. But this was two and a half pages, handwritten. Who does that? Okay? There, there is no reason for it. And the police believe that the note was staged because it did not have any fingerprints except for Patsy's and the authorities who handled it because it included an unusual use of exclamation marks and initialisms. Okay. So, it w and the note was written with a pen and notepad from the Ramsey home. Okay. They say it's a Patsy Ramsey's notepad. I don't know if that's true or not. But we're going to keep going. So, a federal court ruled it highly unlikely that Patsy wrote the note. However, the police also decided to, you know, cross-reference her writing with the writing of the, you know, the ransom note and determined that they were very identical. Okay. So, who knows what the truth is? Obviously, they don't know what the truth is. So, here's the breakdown. When they call 911, okay, um, Patsy and John and their son Burke, which is, Burke is John Bonet's older brother from the same wife, the same mother, basically, because John's first marriage, he got divorced. So, it contains specific instructions, okay, this is more about the note. The ransom note contains specific instructions against contacting police and friends. So... Why would it say, don't contact your family or friends? Seems very suspicious, if you ask me. So within three minutes, the police arrived at their house. They conducted a cursory search of the house, did not find any forced entry. Now that is something to keep in mind. There was no forced entry. Okay. So they, the one officer went to the basement and came to a door that was secured by a wooden latch. He paused in front of the door, but walked away without opening it. Okay. Now, he said later that he was looking for an exit route used by a kidnapper, which the, the closed inside peg ruled out because that way the door was able to close and lock. Now, that door was where John Bonet's body was. Okay. So, forensics, you know, went through the house. They tried to do their investigation, but it was proven that, you know, the friends and family of the Ramseys and victim advocates and even their minister arrived at the house and they were all cleaning all the, you know, all the surfaces, including in the kitchen and things like that, which destroyed any and all evidence in, the, in that part of the house to determine who could have done this. Okay. So that's also very interesting that they just willingly did that. Okay. 1 p.m. Um, the detective asked John Ramsey and his one of his friends to search the house to see if anything seems amiss or if something had been tampered with, something went missing, things like that. They started their search in the basement. John opened the latch door, which the officer had overlooked, and found his daughter's body in one of those rooms in the back. Her mouth was covered in duct tape, a nylon cord was around her wrist and neck, and her torso was covered by a white blanket. Okay. So... He carried her body up the stairs. Now, typically, if you find something, you're supposed to report it to police right away and you do not touch it. 
So John decided to pick up his daughter's body, moved it upstairs, so the crime scene had been contaminated even further. Which, I think that's very suspicious. I'm sorry, but that, that is. So, each of the Ramseys provided handwriting, blood, and hair samples to the police. And John and Patsy participated in a preliminary interview for more than two hours. Burke was also interviewed. So that's just kind of saying that they talked to them already. Now the aut- autopsy. This part might be a little too graphic. So I'm going to try to be as not as graphic as that autopsy noted, okay? So it was revealed that John Bonet had been killed by strangulation in a skull fracture. The official cause of death was asphyxia by strangulation associated with a cranial c- cerebral trauma. There is no conven- there is no evidence that you know, anyone did anything inappropriate to her, although it could not be ruled out. No male, you know, excrement, if you will, was found. But there was evidence that there had been an injury in that area that I'm not going to say what it is. I'm sure you all can figure it out. So it appeared that that area as well had been wiped with a cloth. What does wiping her do that i mean obviously you could kill evidence but at the same time what was the point like that that just oh, i feel bad for this poor child i i really do the fact that she went through such a horrible horrible last moments of her life like this i feel so bad for her and i do hope that she rests in so much peace. I hope she's resting wherever she can to be in a really good afterlife right now. And I hope that whoever did this pays the price. Okay. So they obviously ruled it a homicide. So they found, you know, food material, um, things that she had eaten before her death. They found that in her stomach, things like that. So. There's a few theories as to who did this. Okay. Number one theory is a family member theory. So, the, it is said that they think that the family did this. More specifically, the parents. Now, it's hard to say if that is true or if that is false. But people are saying that one of the theories is that John and Patsy came up with this horrible plan to murder their own child and they staged you know evident they staged the whole thing that is basically what one of them is and that patsy wrote the ransom note and john benet put her body in the basement things like that um and it is rumored that he kind of struck her for being a bedwetter which there's nothing wrong with wetting your bed when you're a child okay so it is said that he struck her, strangled her to cover up that he hit her in the head. And, you know, no one knows how the whole inappropriate things could have happened then. Because I don't think the dad would have done that. Um, so, but the, her brother, Burke, also said that they didn't get spanked. No, no one let, laid a finger on them when it came to punishment. That type of thing. So... I don't know if that's true or not. So Burke, at the time of her death, was nine, was interviewed three times. Okay. Um, Psychologists stated that it appeared that they had a healthy, caring family relationship and things like that. Now, it it's so strange to think that they would say that a nine-year-old killed his younger sister. Which, if you've seen the home videos, which are all over YouTube, um, basically it looks like when they're doing the home videos, like for Christmas time and things like that, he, Burke kind of has um, n- an ill will like manner when it came to discussing his sister. So, she, you know, the mom would be like, this is Burke. Oh, but by the way, this is my beautiful daughter, John Benet. It kind of gives a interesting take that they prefer that she preferred her daughter over her son, which I think is very horrible thing to do. So that's the other theory. Part of the family is that the parents and or the, her brother murdered her. Don't know if that's true. Um, so 
they basically the the Ramsey couple are were told to quit hiding behind their attorneys and quit hiding behind their firm because it's a PR firm. I don't know, you know, if they're falsely, you know, accused or if they did it, they just covered it up and they covered it up horribly, I might add, because if you're going to stage, you know, the, a kidnapping, that's pretty stupid, especially... I, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to move on. So, the other theory is an intruder or a child predator of sorts um, came in, you know, t- got her out of her room, took her to the basement, and did a whole bunch of things that I'm not going to discuss because I've already kind of did. So, you know, that's the other one. Now, because she was in the beauty pageant. You know, she could gain the attention of, you know, you know, the the horrible people that prey on children like that. Again, I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, but you guys are getting my drift. Okay, now there are 38 registered of those offenders living within a two mile radius of the Ramsey home. It could be determined that any one of the 38 did it. There's no way of knowing. There's really no evidence. Obviously, whoever cleaned up after themselves after they were done with whatever they were doing knew to clean up after themselves. So, there was someone else that actually made a false confession about killing her. Now, I think that that's kind of dumb. But then again, I also realized that he probably did it for attention. Okay. So, what this man says, his name was John Carr. And... He was arrested in Thailand in August of 2006, okay, where he falsely confessed to murdering John Bonet. He claimed he had drugged her, he had been inappropriate with her, and then accidentally killed her. However, there is no evidence linking him to the crime. So, and there is, you know, no DNA match found on or near her body because obviously there's no evidence found. If all the evidence had been, you know, kind of (laughs) removed or cleaned up or whatever you want to call it. So my final thoughts and theory. I feel like this is a horrible crime to do. And for anyone to even think of doing this is a horrible person, obviously. Especially since, you know, she was your prized daughter or, you know, whatever the situation was. That should not have happened. Now, do I think the family did it? If they didn't, they're covering up for someone that did it. Because either they did it or they know who did it and they're protecting that person. I don't know what the truth is. I do not know what... I don't know which way to go, basically. Burke's interview years later with... um, Oh, gosh, what's his name? Um, Dr. Phil. He kept smiling a lot, but then when it came to talking about certain things with his little sister, he would stop smiling. And that was, you know, kind of deemed, you know, sketchy or, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, do I think that they could have done it? Absolutely. What could have happened is Berg could have done the horrible things to his sister. The dad could have covered it up by trying to keep her quiet. And the mom could have done the ransom note just so she didn't have to see the whole thing itself. You know, maybe John just said, write this ransom note, trust me, and everything will be okay. And then she, I don't think the mom knew. That's, that's my take. I don't think that the mom actually knew what happened. I think that the dad and the son were the main two parts of it. If they did it, there's going to be no way of knowing. The only one that does know is the one that actually did all this and poor John Benet Ramsey. So again, rest in peace to John Benet Ramsey. And I do hope that this video was not entertaining, but informative for you. I did find all my information about the crime and everything like that all over the internet. It's easy to find. You guys can all find it as well. So make sure to leave a like if you thought that this was informative and maybe I brought a different spin to things. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be part of this growing community I have going. Alright guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye!